Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. So we're gonna take a walk down here. We're gonna talk about my Jaguar. Cause as of today, we've got new plans for it. And man, am I excited. All right, y'all. This is my 1976 Jaguar XJ6L, L for long wheelbase. And in its current condition, it don't really look like much. And it needs floorboards, and it's gonna need a full wiring harness, and it needs a steering column, and the entire firewall needs shaved and big holes fixed, and all of the front suspension needs gone through, and all of the back suspension needs gone through. And I knew that this was going to get expensive when I bought it, but I didn't really expect the astronomical bill. And on top of that, I've been thinking a lot, do I really need it? Do I really need the Jaguar? And the answer is no. What I need is a truck to tow the race car, to tow the Vic, or a recovery vehicle in case somebody gets stuck. If I want to go out and play, do some little trail riding like we used to. Or literally anything like that. And the Jaguar doesn't really fit any of those bills. But with all of the suspension and everything being trash underneath it, I figured what the hell. Let's do something fun with it. I just got home, so she's checking it out. This is my new acquisition. It is a 99 Chevy Tahoe. It is a half ton. It is four wheel drive, and the story I'm told is the gentleman bought it for the motor, yanked the motor out of it, and stuck it in something else. Well, the blown one that he blew up just happens to be in the back. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Wife having some fun. Anyways, so this is a small block of some kind, probably 350. And, uh, it's no good, but hey, look, there's some fix -up yes, ah. the wife and I bought the Jaguar with the intention to put a Chevy motor in it because it was converted to Chevy back in the 1980s, and now as of 2020s, it's going to be converted to four-wheel drive. So, growing up in the lovely state of Colorado there was a couple vehicles that rang to mind uh, the number one one that I know of that is unanimously famous is a lifted four-wheel drive second-gen Camaro that lived or lives in Georgetown Colorado that thing is awful awful famous and the second one that I absolutely fell in love with was a quote-unquote monster truck that sits at Trade Center in Delta. I will include both of those after this. But the plan is to remove the body from this and to remove all the suspension from that and pretty much cut the floor out of that and set it on top of this. And then we'll figure everything out. My <laughs> wife's still having fun with the glass. All right, y'all. BST, this one's for you, buddy. We're gonna overland a Jaguar. Can't afford to do it to a Vic because the prices are skyrocketing, but that's okay too. All y'all have a nice day and God bless. Bye.